Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our ICBM a submarine, as you guys can see. In the previous video, we actually ended up adding this thing right here, which is, of course, our periscope. If we jump in front of this, uh, which I can't do because I've fallen off, um, you'd see it on the inside. So let's go ahead and have a little look on the inside, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. BAM! There it is! Uh, it also goes up and down, which is pretty cool. There you go. Look at that. Nice. Anyway, today what I thought we'd do is we'd actually go upstairs and start working on the inside of this, which is, of course, uh, the conning tower. It needs some sort of work doing to it, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so this is, of course, our conning tower. If we have a little look at this, you'll see that there is a bunch of space in the middle where we aren't really using it. What I want to do is I want to actually build a, um, a mini escape pod out of this. So we're going to not use this area. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it back in. And I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, like fix it into place uh, so that we can actually get up and get inside of this thing. And then, I don't know, rescue ourselves? Is that the right wording? Probably not. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll do this. Hold on. There we go, to the other side right there. Uh, there we go, nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this as well. Bam! There we go, that's that. And this piece as well. Do 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 do. There we go. Okay, nice. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually separate that from the rest of it. So let's go ahead and box this off down to there. Go ahead and send it from here all the way across to the other side, which is just here. And then go from there all the way up to the top right there. Okay, so when we spawn this in, it is actually a completely different piece, which is, uh, of course, not quite what you want. We are going to have to attach this on, um, and then it'll actually work, maybe. Okay, so let's get to this, shall we? Uh, we need a track. Hold on, that is one of the first things we need. We're going to go ahead and do that to here like so. There's one, and there is two. Nice. The main reason we're doing two is because I think the gripper actually dr uh, grabs it a little bit better if we do it this way. So we're going to go ahead and shove that on there like so. Do another one as well. There we go. And that is it. We're then going to get ourselves a button. Go ahead and put it on here like this. And uh, we're going to actually... Oh, maybe we should do it the other way around. Maybe we should do it the other way around. In fact, it's probably better to do it the other way around. So actually grab this guy and this guy and do this. There we go. Go ahead and attach this to there and there. Very nice. And then grab the gripper and put it on there. So, gripper. Ba -ba -do -do -do. Oh, this might not actually work the way that I want it to, but let's try it. So put that there. Go ahead and put another one right next to it. Um, and then we'll have a knot. I believe it's a knot gate. Hold on. Put a knot gate right there. Go ahead and attach this guy to these guys. So the brake. There we go. And attach this down to there. And that should be awesome. I think it'll work anyway. Let's go ahead and give it some electricity. So we need a battery in here. And that is it. There we go. A little battery. Go ahead and whack it underneath there. And voila. Let's go ahead and give it some electricity. And there we go. Let's test if it works. All right. So I was kind of hoping the dock would be a little bit lower than this, but never mind. Uh, but as you guys can see, it is uh, very much attached. You can't really tell the difference except this little line down here. So let's get to the inside and see if we can detach it. There we go. I believe it is actually now detached. So we have to look at the outside, and this is what we see. There you go. Nice. Good. Okay, so because of that, let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, paint around this. Go ahead and grab this color and just do this. Uh, type a dealio across there. Go ahead and do this little bit right here, and send it back across the top as well. We're also going to do this little bit right here as well. And then if we spawn it in, we'll see that it looks, I don't know, hopefully kind of cool. Yes, it looks kind of cool. Nice. Okay, so what else does it actually need then? I guess a light would actually be really good. So let's go ahead and delete somewhere in the middle, get ourselves a light, and attach it into there. And hopefully that will actually work out for us. I'm pretty sure it will. So we go ahead and put this guy right here like this. And attach this to here. And we'll also actually attach this to here as well. So whenever you push this button, all of the life raft actually works. I say life raft, it's actually just an escape pod. So let's say we're underwater somewhere. We can jump in here and then escape. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually put the submarine in the water, as you guys can see right here, and it has sank underneath, which is perfect, because now we get to try our thing. Now, if we go on the inside right here, oh, I don't know quite what I've managed to do here, but there is stuff breaking everywhere. That's weird. Um, that's really annoying. But anyway, if we open this, oh, it's straight to the outside. Ah, that's actually a really big issue. Hmm. 
Oh well, okay, so you jump inside. Obviously there is water filling up the rest of it, but that's okay. If we press this button, it then should maybe slide off and detach, but I'm not entirely sure that's actually working. Ah, yeah, so what's actually stopping it here is the gripper poking out. We need to fix that. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's go ahead and paint this right. There we go, good. So let's go to the inside and figure out where this bit is. So the gripper is this guy. Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's this guy right here. So if we delete this and this, uh, we then actually grab one of these and delete this and this. We put this right here like so. There we go. So the gripper will be on the inside. Uh, that actually makes sense. Here we go. So gripper goes here like so. One and two. Bam. Uh, we attach the knot gate to the brake on this. One and two. Three and four. And there we go. Okay. So, the only thing that we are now missing is the ability to get into there without it sinking. Um, and that is a really big issue because there is actually an outside in between. So, we need another hatch kind of dealio, one of these, uh, to go on there in order to actually attach these guys together. And now that I'm thinking about this, we probably didn't actually even need the, um, the gripper. I, I don't think we even needed that, but maybe we did. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attach this onto here like so. That's good. And that is automatically going to be on. We're then going to go ahead and do the same thing right here. So that attaches to it. Excellent. And we're going to go ahead and box this off right there. Okay, cool. So, uh, is the magnet automatically on or off? Probably off, right? I'm assuming off. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually attach this to this and this. Okay, that is for... Wait, what is that for? Oh no, it's the magnet that we need. There we go. So the magnet will automatically be on, and then it'll turn off once we push this button. Okay, good. That's fine. Uh, to open and close the doors, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that, but let's go ahead and do this. Button. Here we go. Uh, delete this guy right here, and attach it to there instead. Oh, I can't do it. Okay, just delete there. There we go. Okay, that'll work. And then we can open the door with this. So open door. Open door. Good. Wait, no. What's this for? Ah, I see. Okay, right. Actually, we don't need that one. We only need this one. Okay, so it opens this door, but it also opens the connected door as well. Good. Okie dokie. So here's our submarine. I've actually moved it further out so we can actually attempt to use it properly this time. Let's go to the inside, uh, which I am not quite in. There we go. Good. Oh, I'm stuck in the ground. Oh, I hate when this, ha this stuff happens. There we go. All right, cool. So if I push this button right here. Oh, really? They should be connected together, but are they not? I'm really confused. Hang on, go to the inside. Are they, like, are they on? I feel like the magnets aren't on, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, let's go and push this button. And up we go. Okay, and then it floats. Fantastic, yes! Look at that, brilliant. So it leaves that at the bottom of the ocean, it floats up and uses this, and that is kind of cool. Good. Okay guys, I believe I have fixed it at least a little bit, so let's go ahead and get on the inside of this and see if we actually have. Here we go. So we're on the inside. Let's go ahead and push this button, which should open up both doors. No water is coming in, that is excellent. Um, you would then sort of want to close this door, but like, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, so we might have to put the button there instead, but that's okay. So we are now on the inside. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. Am I now in? I'm in the middle of both doors. Okay, right. So we need to change that slightly uh, in order to allow us to actually close the door. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and try this out. So we are upstairs. We are going to go ahead and go through here. Let's turn on the lights. Just pretend that we are about to sink. There we go. Run up the stairs. Go ahead and open this gate. We have to then run through here. There we go. And we don't necessarily have to close that, but we go ahead and press this button. We can then jump into the escape hatch, uh, into the escape pod. Go ahead and push that button right there. A little bit of water comes in, but that's okay. And then we go ahead and push this, and we float to the surface. Uh, as you guys can see right there, it actually kind of launches you, but it does actually work. So, I am pleased about that, aren't I? Yes, indeedy. Okay, so uh, we've got it working. That is pretty good. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some seats, because we kind of need them, not going to lie. Uh, and how much room do we actually have with this if we do want to do it? Uh, we got one, a space for one. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Grab ourselves some seats and just go ahead and plaster them in. There's one, two, three, and four. So I actually go ahead and put them across. There we go. Good. Go ahead and put that in. And then realistically, I guess we could sort of fit some more. So what I might do is just this. 
And go ahead and put some more seats in this way. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. Good. And then we can just do... Well, we can just leave that open. That's fine. There we go. Good. Okay. I'm actually really pleased with this. We should be able to still get inside, even with these pieces here. And uh, we should be able to rescue... What is it? Eight plus eight? Sixteen people. That is a lot of people. Nice. Okay, what else would you want in there? I guess some flares and stuff like that. So let's go to the emergency kit and start putting some of that in there as well. So stuff like first aid kits, we need some of those. Let's go ahead and whack them on this wall. Da -da 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 -da. One and two and three. There we go. So we got six of those. Nice. Uh, a welder would actually be kind of useful. So let's go ahead and try and get one of those in here. Uh, so we'll actually put it... Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether I can fit it anywhere, but let's go ahead and try and put it here. There we go, good. And then on the other side, we'll do a fire extinguisher in the floor as well, because we can. So go ahead and put this right here like so, and voila. We can now actually escape using our escape hatch, uh, our escape pod, and that would be really cool. I'm going to delete these guys, and I'm going to replace it with some weight blocks, uh, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and do this, literally just so that it doesn't flip over whenever we are getting sent upwards. Oh, and I suppose a flare gun would kind of be useful too, so let's go ahead and just smack a, a, a flare gun into here like this. Uh, bam. There we go, good. And delete that guy and that guy, and just put some, I don't know, flare gun ammunition right there. And is there anything else that we really need? I guess a strobe light would be cool. Uh, and also oxygen masks would be really good. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if we want that. Do we want that? Glow sticks? I guess a flashlight as well. There we go. You need everything. I don't know, just in case you're going to go to the surface a little bit. That's fine. Okay, so I was thinking about this just a little bit, and I'm not sure I want to do it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and try. So, I'm going to go and delete this guy right here, delete that guy right there, delete that one, delete that one. And essentially, we're going to grab this color, go, go ahead and flip it over. Uh, like this, there we go, good. One and two. Get ourselves some windows, if we can, this guy right here. And I'm going to go ahead and try and slot that onto there like so. There's one, there's two, and there we go. Those are going to be like the only windows that actually work on this submarine. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. I do actually think that's okay. Also, I'm going to change the floor color to be the same as the other room that we have. And there we go. Nice. It seems a little bit strange, but I think it's going to be cool. Okie dokie, so submarine is in. There we go. It is underwater already. Very nice. Uh, let's get inside. There we go. Go ahead and push this button to open up the doors. There we go. Jump inside. We have all of the room in the world that we need. A little bit of water does come in, but that's not too terrible. We can then sit in a seat and we can push the button. And the light turns on, and we get sent up out of here. Nice. Look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. Also, we've obviously got those little lights right there. So if it was daytime and we didn't really have the lights on, you can still see in here, which is awesome. Uh, the one thing that I would say about this is you can't actually open the door. So what I'm going to do is actually add an additional hatch on the roof, which is the hatch you actually leave from. Um, which, again, should actually be fine. And there it is right there. So I put the hatch on the roof, uh, as you guys can see, and on the inside I've painted it this color, and then you should be able to just jump outside. With that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some handles uh, in order to actually grab those to get out if we need to. So those are going to go right there. Going to go ahead and paint the interior the same color as it always has, and there we go. That is our escape hatch completed. I keep calling it an escape hatch. It's actually the escape pod, but there you go. It does actually work. I don't know whether to add a little bit of a motor to it or not, or whether we just, I don't know, sit in there until we get rescued. I'm not sure, but for now, we'll leave it sort of as is. You know, I was just thinking maybe it would be kind of cool to actually have uh, some equipment in there as well. Uh, but you'd expect people to get the equipment on before they actually come up here, I suppose. But I guess sometimes you wouldn't have time, but I don't know. Uh, do we change the walls into a bunch of equipment? I guess that would make sense, and actually kind of work kind of cool too. I don't know for now. For now, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.